Hello, welcome to a video where I'm going to showcase another wicked team from the graphic that I made. Um, as you can see here with all these teams, the team that I'm going to try out today is from, uh, let's see, Alfie here, Whimsicott, Giratina and Turtonator. Whimsicott has been an incredible core breaker. Um, and the team that's also going to make a slight appearance later is the one from Jaco Loco with the Berserker safe switch. Unfortunately, I'm still having the same issues with OBS, so I've not been able to go live on Twitch, and my my layout's still like this because I haven't added uh, or edited new ones. But the team that I'm using here is Whimsicott, Giratina, and Turtonator from Alfie that uh, you can find on the graphic. Whimsicott has been in a really good core break for like Azumarill and Dragon type Pokemon, but there are some Steel type Pokemon it does struggle with. Let's see how this goes. Giratina is a great safe switch, and I'll have to use it here too. This is a Dragon, but it's also a Fire type, so I gotta get out. And you'll see that if their best answer is Azumarill, then first. First off, it clears up the Turtonator in the back, which is great because this is this Wolf's Turtonator. And it's not even a bad matchup with Shield, especially with Shield Advantage. And the fact that most Azumarill don't run Ice Beam in this meta makes Giratina uh, incredibly good here. And you'll see why. I'm not sure if this is also a good Azumarill for my opponent. I feel like the claws add up more than they usually do. But you'll see that in the two shield, I can basically farm this down. It's actually ridiculous. They throw a Lime as well, which helps because now I think... I think they need six for the next player off. It doesn't matter. I should be able to get them down in like seven shadow claw. As you can see here, the entire farm now is just kind of nasty. <clears throat> I've hundred energy. If they don't have Wiggly Tough, this is basically resisted by about nothing. They come in with Skarmory, meaning that Wimscott doesn't have a lot of play, which is kind of unfortunate. Their better play may have been to take a shield advantage or uh, their backline because Wimscott is outnumbered here. This is even worse than Turtonator for Wimscott. I'm going to go on Turtonator. The beauty of the mirror is. A Dragon Pulse doesn't take out in one attack, and Incinerates are double resisted. The not so beauty is, I like Lilu's Charge Check Purity. Like, uh, I have a really good rank, um, so <laughs> that's unfortunate. And a super effective Dragon Pulse would have been really nice here. So I'm gonna hope I have I survive all these Incinerates, but Turtonator is not fragile, it's actually rather bulky, so I have to hope that I can knock them out. But also, if I knock them out and Skarmory gets a farm down, uh, Wimscott gets some base by the Skarmory, but they throw. That is also uh, wins me the game. If they didn't throw, probably would have lost. Problem is, if I, if I also don't throw and they farm me down, uh, Wimscott takes an overheat, right? So I can't do that either. Uh, Seapon would not have knocked out here. So if I didn't throw and they farm me down with Skarmy, Skarmy would outpace my Wimscott. I lose the battle. Uh, but now I win. GG. Here at Tina Showcase, but I promise there will be good Wimscott battles. In fact, we have a mirror here. And I don't mind this at all. The reason why, Giratina's not bad here either. So I'm just going to let one Moonblast go. If they shield this, so it. But one thing that you need to keep in mind with this team is if there's a Dragonair or Gudra in the back, you need shields down. Otherwise, Giratina is toast and Turtonator even more. I'm going to swap in Giratina now. Uh, I'm, I don't think I win Charge Stack Purity. It is very close at least, so I'm not going to throw there just yet. Shadow Ball would definitely knock out this. Fragile Whimsicott though, so I'm not too worried about this. I'm going to farm up more energy. And by the time they almost get to their second Moonblast, or sorry, the third... Um, an ominous wind should knock out. The third Moonblast is six Fairy Winds, so need to be careful of that. In the back is an extra drill. Uh, I don't know if my opponent realizes how weak they are to like a Turtonator. If I knew this, uh, they don't have an Azuma in the back, <laughs> may as well have swapped Turtonator. In fact, they didn't even throw there. If I threw a Shadow Ball, they would have been knocked out, and I would have a shield advantage for my Giratina. So I thought they would CMP with me. They didn't. Um, and now that is what it is. I want to maximize my energy. Either way, let's see what's in the back. It's their own Turtonator. If I knew this was there, I would have thrown in my Turtonator. And Turtonator would have cleaned up their team, honestly. I might not even need the Pokemon right now. Giratina's going to put this very low. In fact, can't even incinerate me down. I get uh, the full Shadow Claw down. Could have thrown the Ominous Wind, but that would take us time, right? Next battle. Now it's Wimsicott time, I promise. Wimsicott into Azumarill. And this is lovely. Because most or pretty much every Azumarill team has like a Giratina or a Flygon in the back. So they always stay in, even though Giratina is actually not that bad into Wimscott, unless you get baited. Otherwise, uh, it's actually quite fine. I can uh, say this for myself when I played Giratina into Wimscott at the NAIC. They go for play rough. I figured they might not have Ice Beam. I actually played a, li a little bit different in a uh, next matchup because later I realized, wait, if they have like a Dragonair Gudra in the back, I'm just toasted if, if I let my uh, Wimscott get hit by an Ice Beam. So that's when I did start uh, shielding the first attack. I can also get a fair wind down after shielding once. Obviously, I win the zero shields if I just uh, throw that there. They come in with Giratina. I bait here. Surely they will shield, right? Okay, they do. Good. Now I can get to another Moonblast before they get even to one attack. And that will put me at a at a, uh, a range for Giratina where I can throw the Ominous Wind before their second Ominous Wind. So this is great. 
right? In fact, I'm even gonna... <laughs> I'm gonna call this. If it's an Omnid Wind, it would not knock out. So I'm actually gonna no shield that. Um, and even if I was like, okay, Turtonade in the back is probably good. The worst thing that could happen is that I'll have to shield it and I'll have to throw a Dragon Pulse here. Throwing Omnid Wind to get him low. At this point, just fine, can incinerate down. Keep a shield for my Turtonade. Our Zoomer's already gone. So what could be the worst that's in the back? In the back is Lucario uh, with Force Bomb. Oh, that fast attack looks wicked. Um, I'm gonna go for the Dragon Pulse and no bubble this. Um, why do I do this, you ask? I am a genius in strategies. No, it's a friend, so I uh, decide to stop left. In the next battle, it's Wimps Got Time. We have an Azumarill lead. Let's see what they have in the back. No, they stay in again. <laughs> Nothing for this. Azumarill Gear Tina Core is probably the most meta or most overpowered thing you have in this meta. And I think the only core breaker there is, which there's also a team with on this graph, um, is Berserker because that one has super effective damage force. Uh, oh my goodness, going with Lucario. I, I swap in turns in there. I expect another steel type in the back. That's why I do that, but I should be fine with this. What I want to say, Berserker, Shadow Claw, super effective damage for Giratina and uh, Trailblaze for Azu. I actually barely lived that. I didn't want that. I want the farm down, but uh, Allah, it is what it is. I'm going for the overheat here. We'll chip it a little bit, put it into Seed Bomb range as well, actually, as we saw earlier. Two Seed Bomb don't knock out. Um, I'm a shield down, which I'm not super comfortable with. If it's like a dragon in the back, I might be fine though. Let's see what they do. Gonna farm up a little bit more, throw right before the next play rough. If they shield it, it has to be a dragon in the back. Let's see. They do shield that. I let it go this time. I don't know if that's the play, because if it's a dragon, Ice Beam puts me very low. In the back is a Scavalier. Well, that's beautiful. Um, I mean, Turtonator would have been very fine here as well, so it didn't really matter what I would do here. I'm going to no-shield this. Uh, Giratina is a little bit better here than Turtonator is, just because Turtonator can hit by a, can get hit by a drill run, and this guy is throwing Acid Spray into me, so interesting choice of play. Uh, I would obviously never shield there. They probably, I think their win condition, which I don't hate, by the way, is throwing Acid Spray, then throw run. They throw two, two Acid Spray. I, I have no idea what, what, what they're doing. Um, Wimscott's still a little bit healthy. They need to throw a Charge Stack into my Giratina to knock it out. I don't think they even get there. So, um, yeah, knocking it out and that wins me the battle. A little bit of a hard count of a game. In the next battle, we have a Wimscott lead into a Scavalier. And I feel the worst here because a Scavalier leads always have Azumarill on the back. So if I don't bait Azumarill out, it is likely to be a loss. But let's see how close I can make this. Um, I'm, I'm like positive it's a zoom on the back. Williams Scott has some play into a scavenger though. It's not great, especially if they have like area ace. Look at this, by the way. I get to the ominous wind on damage registration error. Really wish I threw the ominous wind first. But like if they know shield, it just becomes worse. So I didn't. But if I did now, I would have either had to switch maybe two two shields. Although I must say, I don't think Shadow Ball would have knocked out maybe. Gonna shield this up. Um, Dragolch 100% runs gunk shot in this meta for opposing Azumarill. It's not even for all the Williams Scott. This will allow me to farm a lot more energy, though. And Escavalier is very fragile, so a Moonblast will still do like 50%, so I can threaten a little bit there. Let's see what uh, happens now. He's going to go for the Aqua Till. That Sea Bomb is double resisted. That's why it does so little damage. I have a lot of energy for this Escavalier, so maybe it's not the worst. I need to get rid of it, though. If I cannot get rid of the Escavalier, that Azumarill on the back is going to go... It's, it just walls me. It's just impossible. You see how much that does there. But uh, my fairy winds are not going to be enough. Uh, he's already at an attack. I may need to catch something, but let's see what this is. It is a drill run, so there's not even much to catch. If I catch this on Turtonator, then they just bubble me down with Azuro after I throw a charge stack. So it's just looking very dire. I'm going to go for the Moonblast here. I need to like farm up to a seat ball, but they throw a drill run here. I mean, I can't swap into Turtonator. At, at this point, my only hope is getting shields down. Well, I'm to Dragon Pulse a Dragon in the back, but it's Azuro. And uh, that's game over. Not much I can do with that. Whimsicott into Tapu Fini, a tremendous leap. But my opponent has a pretty difficult safe switch, which is the Galarian Stunfisk. I don't have really have an answer for this. Um, I, I would say Turtonator is a nice swap in here just because it would avoid Tapu Fini. But not really. Not really, because I will still lose this matchup, uh, likely, or they get shields down, and then they can Nature's Mats my Giratina. So at this point, I'm like, okay, I'm just going to stay in. I'm one Fairy Wind ahead, which might help me a little bit. And since the Fairy Wind buff... Wimscott should win this in the zero shield scenario, so that's nice. But it's not great. It's not great. I'm going to keep shields up so my Giratina is still fine into Top of Fini. I can do one more uh, Fairy Wind there. And hopefully, if Top of Fini comes in, I can get to another attack. Problem is, as always, and like I said before, if there's another dragon in the back, I'm in trouble. They actually get the full uh, water gun down here, which is unfortunate. Going to go into Giratina here. And basically comes a little bit down to what they have in the back now. Giratina is okay in this matchup, it shields up, but shields down is not great, because they just throw Nature's Mattis then. I shield a Surf Bait, which I did not expect, I'm going for the Shadow Ball here on Charge Stack Purity. 
and the shield no counter top of Fiend. If they know shield, they actually do no shield. Crazy play in the back of Sturtinator. Uh, I mean, uh, I don't, I don't know why you no shield there. You're, that was probably a better match of Giratina than than uh, <laughs> the Sturtinator is. Anyway, gonna catch Dragon Pulse here. We saw earlier how much this does. It's super effective, but Dragon Pulse actually not as efficient of an attack. And Incinerate is double resisted, so all I have to do is get to the Dragon Pulse here. Um, I think their best way was actually to throw and win charge stack purity because that puts me a little bit in the pickle. But Giratina outpaces. Turtonator cannot stack two attacks. And this Incinerate here is actually huge because I think this will allow me to Shadow Ball it uh, to death. Because they need one Incinerate for two attacks here. But yeah, because of my Incinerate damage and the Shadow Claw damage, I can do two more. Shadow Ball, this should 100% knock out. And um, Giratina doing what it's supposed to do. So that is a good game. In the next battle, I lead into Berserker. Now, uh, this is a tricky one because, yes, that's a core breaker, but I'm pretty sure most of them run Trailblaze close combat. So I don't feel very threatened here. They will deal resisted charge attack damage on me. In fact, Trailblaze is kind of weak. So not too worried. Gonna no shoot that. If they have Iron Head, so it's that's why I threw my Moonblast immediately because I want to hit that before they throw potential Iron Head. Gonna go for the Seed Bomb, which won't knock out just yet, but threaten them just enough that my Giratina should be safe from it. I actually do recognize Berserker's uh, value, but Berserker is fragile. It's already low, and he's actually going to reveal his second charge attack here, which is close combat. That means that my Giratina resists the charge attacks. They go in Azumarill. Perfect. I can go into uh, Giratina now. Um, but. <sighs> If they have Tapu Vini, this actually could be tricky, maybe. So I, I hope I can keep a shield. I'm definitely gonna, not going to shield anything from that Berserk, I'll tell you that. Shielding this up, though. I believe that's an Ice Beam, was it? No, that's a player off. Okay, great. Now I can just outpace to the next Shadow Ball. There we go. On Charge Stack Priority. A little bit bold. They could sneak one there, but I would outpace anyway if they if they were to. They let that go, and let's see what they come in with. Nope, they top left. Uh, maybe something not so great into Turtonator in the back. Next game, we have Whimsicott into... Azumro, great lead. Let's see what they go into. That's a red shield. No, it's a Berserker. Uh oh, that's uh, that. I will lose switch advantage here, so this is a problem, especially because there's a team on the graph from Jaco Loco with Azumro, Berserker, Ferrothorn. So if I don't have switch advantage, that would suck, because Wimsicott is not that great into Ferrothorn. Even though I would think most of them run uh, Thunder, but they might run Flash Cannon for this Pokemon that I'm running right here, Giratina. I'm gonna go for the second on the wind. At least I have a two shield advantage. Gonna go into the third and farm it all the way down. I'll take this charge attack. Um, I think I'm gonna go for two shield wounds, assuming there might be Ferrothorn in the back. But this switch, this was not my best play. Definitely not. And because I didn't wait the clock, I'm also stuck here. So now I can only swap. They can go for an ice beam, which sucks as well. And it might not be the best shields, but again, if it's if it's anything else than Ferrothorn, that would uh, be a good shield. So it is Ferrothorn in the back. I'm gonna go for the Moonblast. I'm still a shield up though, and I have pace. So they might be player. Moonblast hits hard. I might be able to do something with that. I have to make a shield call here though. If this is a power whip, uh, if this is a flash cannon. Okay, we shield the flash cannon. Perfect. Uh, I, I really need Whimsicott for Azumarill. They, like, they, they, it's not even a question, right? I get the Moonblast off. Now I need to outpace to the Seed Bomb to knock him out. And I'm actually going to throw on Charge Stack Purity, maximizing my energy. I need to get as much damage as possible into their Azumarill. Takes out the Ferrothorn. I can now get to a couple Seed Bomb. That, um, that Third Sunday might actually be able to get to 2 OB, by the way. I'm gonna, gonna try a Wicked Utrecht play here. Gonna go try it for the uh, charge, at, uh, charge Attack Swap. But I forgot where my <laughs> where my OB was, so I, I didn't throw immediately. And they under charge anyway, so I'm able to get it off. But imagine I pulled it off. I actually will be able to get to 2 OB here, and I think that would knock out. As you can see, it puts it very low, and now I will not be able to get there. It shouldn't matter anyway, but it would have been a beautiful play. <laughs> kind of unfortunate. But uh, I think the team is very deceiving. If, if your opponent is not looking, they swap in the... What's it called? The Giratina immediately. You take switch easily into that team. So yeah, that was it. I, I went 8-2 with this team. Well, if I count the one battle that I top left against our friends as a win. Unfortunately, I lost two recordings. One of them was an Empoleon lead, and I swapped Giratina in the answer with Wigglytuff. I just stopped left. Well, I may have deleted that as well, because I don't think it was interesting. The other one, I unfortunately uh, didn't record, I guess. Um, anyway, I hope you liked the video, and see you in the next one. Bye.